Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel messages from Venus. This is your reading for November. Yes, I am delayed, but here we go. All the information is always and will always be in the description box. Let's see what is your general message or your general energy throughout the month of um, November. So we have the page of swords here. So not only are we talking a lot, but we're having a lot of like different expressions. Um, and different expressions of the different parts of ourselves we are communicating more than the norm however i feel like there's going to be a lot of like kicking and screaming the normal than the usual responsibilities that you probably you guys probably do not want to take care of but it's things that i feel like once you take care of them, you won't have to take care of them no anymore. You won't have to be um, hostile about it anymore. And sometimes it's easier to just assume, assume our position and our purpose in life and stop kicking and screaming about it. Otherwise, the process will be, will be more painful. I also feel like some of you guys have learned... Um, lies little white lies that have been told to you that you have been telling people that have caused a lot of pain and hostility between you and people that you have known for a very very long time make sure that you guys do not burn your bridges for the month of november i know that i'm late but sometimes these messages do apply in other months etc don't burn your bridges you guys um sometimes it's best to make yourself vulnerable to other people's ideas other people's thoughts other people's beliefs other people's wants and needs about you um and and learn to balance that aspect about yourselves other than um you know being hostile or going against someone just because they're giving you advice that um you wouldn't necessarily see eye to eye with or go with but that's okay don't worry about it i also feel like some of you guys are going to be experiencing some sort of like bipolar energy because some of you guys are going to want to go ahead f move forward do things that you normally don't usually do but for some reason or another you guys are being stopped and i think it's your own doing um is what i feel here um is what i see is your own doing because you've had so many horrible previous experiences with whatever it is that you're trying to push forward or propel you forward um that you just don't you don't want to hear that there's any more pain involved in propelling forward you just want to get to the to the best of your abilities you just want to become happy you just want to be happy but you don't want to go through the process and that's not how things work okay sometimes you have to go through pain and struggles no matter how much you don't want to go through them for those of you guys that are um uh single this is your your card and we have balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges okay so for those of you guys that are single and you guys are thinking that it's just one way and you're only going to give your partner one thing and you're only going to do one thing um because it's what you want or the highway and you don't really want to balance things out you don't want to really see eye to eye with your partner it's not the right way to go you guys are probably going to be single for the rest of your life also um, sometimes there's different ways, you know, sometimes we, we can get away with things, especially if you're, um, good at manipulating others, you can get away with things. However, um, make sure that the illusion that you're presenting is one that they will agree with so that you can then get your way. It, if, if that makes any sense for those of you guys that are in relationships this is your card and we have the weight don't rush into it allow nature to take its course so for those of you guys that are trying to push for commitment for those of you guys that are planning to push for something that's within the norm or acceptable for society for you guys to have wait and don't push why because i feel like the partner that you guys are with right now um as of the month of november is probably not somebody that you're last with more than two three years okay so don't don't want to give your all to just that one person don't just put all your eggs in one basket okay invest where you can see where things are going i know that that's easier said than done because three four years is a very long time from someone's life um that's like half of a decade so literally it's like half of a decade so um just know that if you see red signs and you see that where this relationship is going right now um like how it is right now don't go into the future take it day by day and then that's how things might change and then maybe somewhere in the future and this person can become somebody that you stay with longer term like a more commitment like maybe marriage house kids investments careers etc sharing of one another the balancing act of one another but 
don't go to the future without fixing your present at the moment um is what i'm seeing for those of you guys that are in relationships so i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading again all my information is in the description box and i will see you guys in the next video um and please continue to water your life bye guys